it's not a major crime I'm making. I, when I do smoke, I smoke in the convenience of my house. I don't go out you know, putting other people in danger by driving and smoking or anything like that. Yet Johan Cano's livelihood depends on if his Jersey City misdemeanor marijuana possession charge moves forward in court. As a credit counselor, I can't have any convictions, uh, even for a minor misdemeanor. Meanwhile, Nicholas Williams is in a similar situation. His security license is being held up also because of a pending misdemeanor marijuana charge. If they decriminalize it and drop it down, like that would actually be like you know a benefit to me because I, then I'll be able to you know, get my job back and pursue my career that I want. During the past week with their attorney Kevin Brown of the Bot Law Group, these two men have experienced the ups and downs of thinking their problems were solved. First, Jersey City announced it would decriminalize marijuana possession. Then, State Attorney General Gerbeer Grewal blocked the move. Then today, Grewal announced he'll convene a working group to look at the issue of decriminalizing marijuana and wants all marijuana cases put on hold until September 4th while the issue is studied. They need to look at uh, Colorado's um, experience. They need to look at California's experience. You gotta have an idea of, okay, if you decriminalize on this state, what's gonna be the overall effect? And this is all happening with real lives hanging in the balance. Most of our clients get caught um, 50 grams or less marijuana. They're not what I consider to be criminals. You know what I mean? They're not bad people. 